At that time, most Vietnam veterans came home from war one at a time. We just melded back into society, and we didn't put anything on our resume about the military or Vietnam. We just put something like no military requirement or no draft eligibility, some nebulous thing not to even identify it because a lot of corporations wouldn't hire you. There were some amazing exceptions. Boy, <laughs> ah, it was something. My heart started uh, beating uh, uh, furiously. I got little tears in the corner of my eyes. And I said, in essence, well, here comes another hero of mine, which is the Huey. There was a little outfit from Texas that started recruiting Vietnam veterans wholesale. They knew that they were going to get 25-year-old pilots that had the experience of 45-year-old pilots. That by the mid-1970s, the second most decorated air force in the world was an outfit called Southwest Airlines. But we realized, of course, that they were very skilled. Uh, they were mature. Uh, they'd been hardened by the battle experience, the exposures that they've had, had in the field, in the service. And uh, we thought that that was a good preparation for the battles that we were going to have to go through at Southwest Airlines. And we went through them. Uh, for a good many years uh, when other carriers were trying to put us out of business. So, in a sense, uh, by way of analogy, Southwest Airlines was at war itself, and we needed a warrior spirit. Uh, so we were very glad uh, to hire people that uh, uh, you know, came out of Vietnam and had that experience. And when I said, I've just got to go over and 